So Kanye West decided to get some something off his chest. So he decided to um, oh, good. say, ah, listen, and it, it looks like this was a posted on Instagram. Uh, the Shade Room took a, um, a screenshot and posted it. But it says, uh, from Ye, <laughs> Rich, Ty, Cardi, and the supporters that stood by us through everything. This number one is for you and for the people who won't be manipulated by the system. F Adidas and everybody who works there. What Anyone does Adidas school? have to do with your music, man? <laughs> Wait, there's more. Anyone who goes to school with anyone whose parents work at Adidas. <laughs> oh, he's going for the kids. Of, okay. Bro, bro, just know they no, try to destroy me. Child. And we are here with the number one song in the world. And then he starts going off on a fake dude that worked at Goat and calling him the P word. But then he goes, F the everybody at the Daily Mail. F everybody at the fashion houses that sided with Gabby and Haley Bieber. Now, Gabby is the, um, is the woman who was a... Uh, Gabriella Karifa Johnson. Remember, she went to his fashion show with the White Lives Matter, and she she's the one who spoke out against him, and he started targeting her. That girl. Oh, I yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I remember. I'm, and yeah, you do. Yes, Laura brought yes, it up many times. Yes, he called yes, this yes, woman yes. out, called her fat, made all kinds of nasty remarks about her because she called out his nonsense. Anyway, mm. I, everyone who's a so-called Christian and so-called friend that called... Uh, and my so-called family members that watch me have my kids taken out of my control. That's how I feel. And F Drake for taking Dirk right at the beginning of the Vultures rollout. I'll come back to you when I think of more FUs. Taking Dirk at the on the road? I guess. Yeah, on the road, I guess. I, I guess. Yo, man. But to your point, Ebro, he just scrambles everything together. Yeah, so it's hard. It's hard to take somebody do, serious they when they can't keep their thoughts together, man. It's hard to take somebody serious when they can't keep their thoughts together, man. Sorry, yeah, man. That's just how. That's how the world works, man. If you can't clearly articulate your thoughts, man, it's tough for people to listen. It's tough for you to be heard if you can't clearly articulate your thoughts, man. Well, not only that. I mean, that's that's just one piece. I mean, it's particularly hard if you don't articulate your thoughts well, and you've been saying erratic things for what now nine ten years you know what i mean like i think people have grace for someone who in an emotional moment struggles to like put the words together well a singular been, moment yeah yeah this man just been that this man has just been spewing crazy for 10 years and never it's just always such a, a blame fest of everybody else all the time it's tiring. Well, I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed that now he's mad at so-called Christians. Yeah, he's the ultimate so-called Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yo, uh, I mean, uh, literally, the, yo, my man makes porno music while praising God. I well, no, but then remember he, was, he wasn't cursing, and then now, he, I mean, what happened to the not cursing? What happened? Remember, no more secular music. Oh, no more he... secular music. I forgot. And, yo, wait, I forgot. Ibra, but then, but this whole album is secular choir... music. Choir is suing him for unpaid. I saw a headline that said that the Sunday service choir was suing him for thirty million. 